want an eel or a cheeseburger so bad. I'm definitely hungry. We would love another big chunk of protein like a caiman or a stingray or eel. got this one, buddy. No disrespect to anybody. Turn around. They got it. Meaning they're not sharing it? It's kind of like a thing. Oh, that's sad. Wow. This is going to get dirty. When you have a massive group of people, it's going to be harder because you're more taxing on your environment. But you also have more hands that are helping. As long as everyone's contributing and pulling weight and helping out in some way or another, you'll have success. I'm gonna go walk on the savannah. Where was she at? I don't know, what'd she keep going to the savannah for? Her out there. I don't know. She's, like I've said this whole time, she is a woman on her own mission, you know? She'd make it a lot easier on herself if she'd just kind of roll with it and be part of that team dynamic, but she right. just seems like she's still kind of fighting it. Dragging it. That's not tolerating this group. Everyone's busting their ass every day, 24 hours a day. It's difficult for me to be in a group setting. In normal life, it would be difficult to live with this many people 24-7. You know, you wake up, they're there, and then you go to sleep, and they're there, and so, I go on walks by myself. I'm doing something that's good for me, that holds me together emotionally and holds me together mentally. What do I see under the water? A big five foot eel. After battling two eels in recent weeks, Jeff is wary of the eel's 600 volt charge. I don't like getting shocked. You know, my arms go stiff, my legs, and knocks the wind out of me. But uh, it will put food on the table. I got this one, buddy. What is it, an eel? Yeah, I got it. I was calling for EJ, because I wanted EJ to be there, and I wanted him to finish that sucker off. Okay. No disrespect to anybody, it's just it's fine. the team thing, you know? With that being said, and the, and the tone that he had used, I assumed that that was a meal for just him and EJ, and you know that was a team kill on their part. Cool. Congrats. Thanks, man. Him and EJ, their team's got it. What? To separate yourself, you know, days before extraction is kind of like a thing. Turn around. Turn around, it's a him and EJ thing. They got it. It's a what? It's a him and EJ thing. Meaning they're not sharing it? Correct. This is going to get dirty. Man up. Man up. Yeah! Take that, Columbia! The question I'm asking myself is, am I gonna share it with the other group? Yeah! Should I share this or should I not? Maybe I'm giving too much, but I think I'm just blessed. <sighs> what up, guys? Hey. Hey, Jeff. Nice. Oh, look at that. Nice thing. accessory you got there. First off, Chris, I got to apologize, man. I didn't mean to 
say that I didn't need your help. I was a d and cool. uh, I, I apologize. No worries. I was. I was a d and I'm sorry. He did the moment. It's all good. Thanks, guys. And uh, yeah, we're all eating. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, I want to hug. Oh, I you want to hug, hug with the <laughs> dead naked man that you hug. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Luke. I appreciate oh, it. Hearing that down? Oh, Hi, sure. Carbon. Look at this beast. That's an impressive kill, man. You got eel schmegma in your ear. Oh, yeah. Dude! Oh, my God, Jeff. Yeah! 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 As my partner, unrelenting you are. So grateful for Jeff and his persistence and his hunting abilities. I've been really impressed. Um, He's definitely the MVP for, for the last second half of this uh, challenge, for sure. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. brothers, to you. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Holy cow. <sighs> wow. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I killed my third eel in 11 days, and I was able to feed the entire group once again. Your hunting skills are unsurpassed out here. I just want to do the right thing. EJ and I are so strong right now. We've accomplished everything that we have wanted to accomplish out here except getting to day 40. That's the only thing left on our plate. I can't wait to not be called Danielle anymore. Okay. Oh. I'll call you Danny. I wish she didn't have the same name as me. I tried to understand her and give her a chance, but she's such a roller coaster. You know, she likes to lie about things. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. probably one of those pathologicals, a little bit of sociopath in there. Her and Jean should have been matched up together. Yeah. That would have been awesome. I said, maybe you should just tap out. <laughs> I don't think she would. You know, she's going to be stubborn about it. I'm just over her. I don't even want to, like, talk to her. I honestly, you know, I was thinking today, you know, there's people like Shane that can't work within a group that are just weird people. I mean... Is that me? Am I just not seeing it? I might just be clueless. I don't want to sit through another nine days of negativity and feeling like I'm walking on eggshells and being scared to go to sleep because I'm afraid if I go to sleep, I'm not going to wake up to tend the fire. What's the point? I just want to go home. Guys, I understand that you guys think that I am the worst team member you have ever had. I'm trying really hard, and I feel like this entire group is working against me. So if you don't want me to be here, tell me now. Quite honestly, I don't want to be wasting a breath of my energy on this anymore. Don't do that, Laura. You know, it's these like compounded things that lead to a general sense of distrust. Mm. Why would I waste any more effort to help you when I should be concerning myself with myself and the 40 day finish instead of trying to break your walls down? To me, it's just a wasted effort. I don't ask you to break my walls down because it's not gonna happen in the next eight days. Then why are you still here? challenge, you expect the challenge to be survival. You expect it to be physically demanding and mentally challenging and, you know, emotionally draining, but I was not prepared for that last night. The way that I have been treated is really weighing on me. I mean, I've been hurt real bad before, but not by 
six people at once that I can't defend myself against. There is not much else that I am going to accomplish out here. This is it. I'm tapping. It really hurts. Jeff, can I say goodbye? I will. Danny had every bit of energy she needed and a plan to make it to day 40. And I thought she was going to do it. And then she had the personal courage to decide that she had had enough. And I only wish her the very best. Here's the deal, guys. Danny Julian, uh, she tapped out. You know, if, if this had come to a head two weeks ago, I feel like there would be time for repairs to be made. It was best for her and us. I mean, she was getting beat up, you know, and yeah. we were, it just feels like we're putting a square peg in a round hole. Everyone else is bonding and becoming really good friends. You know, she is just the outsider and it just uh, compounds the issue. It's really hard to convey how much of a marathon this is. You gotta get yourself in the right mental space or else you can get screwed out here. This was the group that I expected to finish. That's why we cut that umbilical cord.